Hey everyone, Nariman here, welcome to my channel. Today we want to discuss MCPs or Model Context Protocols. And I will show you how you can easily create your own MCP server using Python and FastMCP and then how to integrate them inside your agent, in our case a Langchain powered AI agent. So as you might know, when we are developing AI agents, usually they need to access some information or they need to perform some kind of tasks. We are enabling our agents to do these by providing them a set of tools. These tools were provided using some code, mainly something like functions, and then LLMs could use them if they supported function calling. Now with MCPs, it is more standard and it can be done remotely. So now every company that is providing a set of APIs can also provide its own MCP server and AI agents can just uh, use those without any other extra work needed. So usually uh, creating MCP servers requires lots of boilerplate code and also configuration. But uh, with FastMCP, lots of those barriers have been removed. So I'm going to use uh, FastMCP in this project to create our own MCP server. And then uh, Langchain MCP adapters to use it on the client side. I'm going to use ChatGPT as my model, so I'm going to also use Langchain OpenAI to be able to communicate with it. And of course, Langgraph to create our own React agent. Async IO is also needed because we are creating some asynchronous functions. And of course, this uh, video is not about any specific use cases like creating any specific AI agent. I just want to show you in general how you can create MCP server and then connect to it inside your client. But as an example, I chose to use Y Finance to create an MCP server that provides tools regarding the stock market just because the ease of use because Y Finance doesn't require any API key or anything. So this will be our example. To set up our project, we need to do two things. First of all, let's go to the terminal. Notice that I'm inside my own projects directory. We need to install all these requirements. So it will be just pip install dash r and then your requirements.txt file. After that, since we are also using ChatGPT, you can of course use other models. I need to export my own API key. So the environment variable would be openAI underline API underline key. And then just copy what you have from the openAI dashboard here. I already did it, I don't need to do it here, but bear in mind that you are gonna need it. Let's go back to the project and let's start coding. Let's go to the MCP server, I already created a simple structure. So you will create a fast MCP object with your preferred names, what you want to call your own server. I just called it the stocks. And then you can provide a set of tools some context or even some prompts like predefined prompt templates to be used by your agent. In our showcase, I'm just going to uh, define a couple of tools. You need to decorate them using mcp.tool as I did here. They are pretty simple. Uh, we are going to write a function that is going to fetch the stock info. Also, it's a good uh, practice to use Docker strings to document your tools. This one is just going to get company's general information. Then this one is going to fetch the company's quarterly reports. And this one is going to fetch the annual reports. All of them are just going to take the stock symbol as their input. And then this one is going to return some dictionary. These one are like pandas data frame. And since we are going to run our MCP server locally, the transport should be a CDIO. This can differ when you are hosting it on a server. So let's just 
import Y finance and provide some code here. So you will create a ticker object out of this symbol. This we can call stock. And then for company's general information, you're gonna just return stock.info. It will be a dictionary containing market cap, company's name, company's address, information like that. For the quarterly financial, we will define the same and then return stock.quarterly financials and then we will also transpose it. More or less the same for the annual financials. You will create a stock object and then return stock.financials and then you will transpose it. So that's it, very simple. Just a few lines of code. You can set up your MCP server. You need to just define it, decorate your functions that are gonna interact with your agents. What is the input? What is the output? And that's it. Let's go now to our MCP client and see how we can define our own agent, which is using all these tools. As you can see, I just define my model. As I told you, I'm just going to use chat GPT 4.0. You just need to use the chat open AI class from the lang chain. We defined our main function asynchronous because calling these MCP tools can be asynchronous and then we need to await on them and you cannot await on a function that is not asynchronous itself. And then we are using async IO to just run this main function. There is not much going on here. It's just some basic asynchronous programming. So I need to first define my server parameters, which means how I'm going to kick a start my server or connect to it. So at first I'm going to define my server parameters. As I told you, we are using the STDIO transport. So I'm going to just say STDIO server parameters. So how we are going to kick a start our server. We are going to use the command Python because it's a Python file and we want to run it. So let's go ahead and call it. And then you need to say where is your Python file. So as args, I'm going to just say my MCP server.py. And then there will be just some boilerplate code. You need to define a stdio client and then you need a session and with that session you need to connect to your server so it's the async with stdio client and then pass your server params which contains all the information how to connect to this mcp server and then as read and write this will be a tuple and then as I told you a session with client session with those read and write parameters. We're going to call this session maybe and then let's create our session. So I will await on session that initialize. Now we are connected. And to create agents, what we want, we need our models and we need our tools. We already have our model here, but the tools are defined in the server. So let's await on load MCP tools and give our session. This will be our tools. Now we can create our agent because we have all the things that we need. Create react agent inside LangGraph needs our model, needs our tools. We have all the things that we need. This will be our agent. And then we can invoke our agent asynchronously. A invoke, is a, which is like 
asynchronously invoke. Here, let's write our prompt. You can ask anything about the stocks from your model and it will go ahead and call the functions and tools that it has on the MCP server, collect all the information and then answer you with all those information. I'm going to ask analyze how revenue of MSFT is changing over time. As you know, MSFT is the stock symbol of the Microsoft. It's very clear that um, without all the financial information from Microsoft, it cannot answer your prompt. So it will call the MCP server, get all those information, and then let's see how it will answer us. This will be agent response. And then at the end, let's just print this. It's not that uh, clean and human readable because it contains a lot of uh, logs as well, but I want to show you everything. So I'm just gonna print this. And yeah, let's have a look. Looks like we are almost done. Ah oh, yeah, one thing probably. Yeah, this one, take the input as a dictionary. So this should be something like messages and then we need to close the dictionary here. So yeah, I guess we are good to go. Let's run it and see if everything is going to work. I'm going to just run it here inside my IDE. You can also go and uh, run it using Python command inside the terminal. Let's go ahead and run this. Okay, you can see that it's starting the server. And perfect, we have our answer as well. Let me, there was, yeah, we can wrap it, I guess here. Yeah, perfect. Now I guess you can see it better. Let's see what happened. So we sent a human message and ask, analyze how revenue of Microsoft is changing over time. And then you can see that it understood that the symbol here is MSFT. And I need to fetch the annual financials to get a good view on how Microsoft is doing financially. So it found the right tool. It called it. And then let's see, you can see there are lots of logs here. And then you can even see what was the tool message, which was a data frame, a, a pandas data frame. You can see that uh, converted to a string, which is not that readable. And then this looks to be the last message that we need, the AI message that was going to answer our question. You can see that it's saying that the revenue trends of Microsoft based on both annual and quarterly financials. So it found both of the right tools like annual and quarterly are as follows. So it's just reporting you. This is how Microsoft is doing. And then also some analysis on its own It's saying that like Quarterly and annual both are uh, reflecting a positive trend in revenue. And it's even saying that in 2024, there was like a huge increase quarterly. So looks perfect. Yeah, it wasn't that hard, was it? So with fast MCP, you can just define your own MCP server. And then using Langchain and LangGraph, you can easily with these MCP adapters connect to it. Even if you don't have your own MCP server, there are lots of them out there. You can just use Langchain's MCP adapters to connect to those and use them. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please like it and also subscribe me for more content like this. See you around.